Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Sarko Lumber, aka Magnum05 here, and welcome to A Day with Magnum05. That's right, this is going to be my 5,000 subscriber special that, and as promised, I am going to be making A Day with Magnum05. So, again, welcome. So, it is right now almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I have I've actually been awake for about two hours, to be honest, but... See, I would have started filming this as soon as I first woke up, but I looked like crap. I, my hair was all messy, and I, and I needed a shave. So as you can see, now I look much better. Although, however, I do need to go get a haircut, and I'm gonna try to get one today. So, yeah, it is right now 7:50 a.m. Saturday, April 21st, 2018. As I, as I'm filming this, so, yeah. Anyway, so we'll just see how this goes. The first thing I do every morning, of course, is check on my YouTube channel to see if there's any messages or updates going on. There are no messages, as you can see, so... But yeah, every morning I would check... I always check every morning on my YouTube channel to see if there are messages, and there are messages, but... Now, see, the thing is, I... First, I had thought of replacing the banner on my channel, as you can see, but... I'm not because a fan actually made this for me. I can't remember who, but a fan made this for me. So, whoever made this for me, I'm sorry if I forgot who did, but I thank you for that. This has actually been up for four years now. So, a fan made this for me four years ago. So, But again, whoever did, thank you. There's my hot lap that I filmed, well, published yesterday, but filmed on Thursday. Yes, I'm almost to 100. This is how much I, this is how many subscribers that I got so far as of right now, 5,064. So I hit 64 subscribers so far after hitting 5,000. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's some um, of my other videos I've done. There's my thank you video that I made. And yes, this was two weeks ago. Alright. There's the Let's Play for the Need for Speed I played that I've done three weeks ago as you can see but four weeks ago tomorrow that was for the 20th anniversary of the game alright so right now I'm about to go get my haircut done because it really needs it and to be honest it's been over two months since I got a haircut it's actually been since before I left for the Daytona trip back in February my god the sun is bright today I'll tell you what sorry that my eyes are cringing Oh, but yeah. Alright. So, anyways, again, right now I'm about to go get my hair cut, as you can see, because I, I don't want it to grow much longer. So, and yes, I have shaved once again, so I did that this morning. So, anyway, so I'm about to get going. So, another update soon. Alright, so I just got my hair cut done, as you can see. Much better. I needed that haircut after two and a half months, so... Anyways, I'm going to be heading off to Marina Del Rey right now, so... Yeah, so I'll see you then. Alright, so it's been over an hour later because... It actually took me a while to get here due to a heavy traffic on the way. Um, I'm actually here at the Westchester area of Los Angeles right now, so... That's mainly the first thing I usually do on Saturdays is come around here, do some plane sightings here at LAX. I'm actually near LAX. I'm not actually at the airport, but I'm right next to the airport. So, yeah, so right now I'm here at the Westchester part of Los Angeles. So, but I will be at Marina Del Rey soon. All right, check this out, you guys. This is something I don't see very often. Here is a Boeing 767 that's operated by Hawaiian Airlines. Look at that. That sounds so nice. Let's go 
going. I came here when I did. And there it goes. Going straight to Hawaii. All right, guys, here comes a 757. Awesome. I think that's United. Yep, it is. And it's the 200. It's a Delta 757. I missed it. Well, crap. Well, there it goes. Well, at least we heard the engine while it accelerated. Delta 737. Here is another United 757, and this is also the 200 version. Yep. Is it gonna go, or is it? Gonna... Looks like it's going. Yeah, it's going. I do love the 757-200, but I hate United Airlines with a passion. Because we all know what happened a year ago with United Airlines. About what they did. But yeah, there it goes. Air France. Airbus A380 Nice yeah. Alright, so here I am at Burton Chase Park here in Marina Del Rey, California. It's a very nice 
park. I love this park. Out of all the parks here in California or anywhere else in the world, this one is my all-time favorite. See, there's people out here on boats and all that. Nice cream, dude. But yeah. And look how beautiful this day is today. It is a very beautiful day today. Very nice. This water fountain here used to come on all the time. I don't even know if it still comes on every once in a while. Although it looks like it hasn't been turned on in quite a long time because you can see how dry the areas are. So yeah, I don't know when was the last time this fountain was running. But yeah, this used to be on all the time. During my childhood, I would say. Until just a couple years ago, I believe. It's a nice day out here in Marina Del Rey today. There may be some clouds in the sky, but yeah, it's a really nice day today. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. I mean, it is a really nice day out here in Marina Del Rey, as you saw. But I'll tell you what, it is quite warm out here. Let's see something here. Let's see. Yes, that's how much mileage I have on my car. It's saying it's 70 degrees, but the thing is, to my opinion, it feels much more than that. And what time is it now? It's 2.27 p.m. Yes, I have the air conditioning on full blast because again, it is quite hot out here, even though it's nice out today. But yeah, just need to make a quick stop here at the Ralph so I can get me a couple of bottles of hand sanitizer because I'm all out. All right, got my hand sanitizer. Now let's go head back home. All right, so here I am now back home, and it's, I've actually been home for about 30 minutes now, and it's 5.48 as, as of right now, and yeah, I had a pretty good day. Went and got my hair cut, went down to, to LAX for plane spotting, went to spend time in Marina Del Rey. You know, just something to do in my day in order to relax. And, yeah. But, you know, it's nice to be home, you know. Even though it's not like a long trip that I've been to today, but you know what? Still a nice day out. Yes. Yes. What is up? What's up, kids? Okay, bye. What about you, Gus? Gus? What's up, Gus? Just chilling there? Don't blame me. Hey, look, there's Joe. Hi, right, Joe. What's up? What you doing? Watching commercials. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a race on. Right. But there's also commercials. Yeah. So you kind of got to get through the commercials if you want to watch more of the race. Well, of course. So, screw the commercials. The, <laughs> on my phone now. Yeah. Until the race comes back on. Yeah. Energy Cup Series race. 
There you go, guys. This is the live right here. This is a good Saturday night. Yeah. On the couch. Little Jeff Gordon blanket. Got a dog here. Got a race on. Just couldn't get any better. Oh, yeah. Yes. So today is basically your lazy day. That's okay, though. Yeah. So yes, as you can see, the race is on. All right, so I want to show you guys something here. As you can see, this is the original PlayStation, as you can see. The original Sony PlayStation. And this one is actually very special to me. And the reason being is because, well, let me just unhook it for a second and I'll show you why. All right, so now I have it unhooked up and... As you can see, these ports back here, this is one way you can tell that this is a very early model PlayStation. And another cool thing about it is, let me turn it over, hold on. There we go. The model number for this one is SCPH-1001. So yes, this is the first model PlayStation. But what's really cool about this is Check this out. This one was built in July of 1995, just two months before the launch date on September 9th of 1995. I can easily guarantee you that this one was sold brand new during launch day on September 9th of 1995. Oop. Gotta be careful with that, Zach. Okay, now Chantilly, there we go. So yes, this one is a very early model, and again, I guarantee you this one was actually sold brand new during launch day of September 9th, 1995. If not, then it would be at least sometime in late 95 that this was sold brand new, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up and show you that it works. Alright, so it's now hooked back up, as you can see, and I'm going to show you that it works. I have a video game inside it right now I'll show you what I have in it that's right got Ridge Racer here this game is one of the first releases for the PlayStation back on September 9th 1995 yes unfortunately it was a only a one player game wish I had at least two players that would have been fun but, oh well. Here's the original non dual shot controller for the system. In fact, here, let me lay this down real quick. Alright, now, oh wait. See, as you can see, there's the game inside it. It's getting straightened if I can. Da -da -da -da, come on. Oh my god, would you stop moving? Stop. Stop. Alright then, guess I'll show it like this then. Alright, there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that it works. Okay, my camera did not want to focus for a second there. As you can see, it's working so far. See if I can try to do this in one hand. It's not going to be easy. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, I'm doing this one hand. This is not easy. Uh, oh, well, there. I just died. All right. Oops, where's the lights? There we go. Oh my God, stop losing focus. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, for a an original PlayStation built in July 1995, 
this thing still works for being 22 years and 9 months old as of April of 2018 so yes that's why this one is very special to me because I just picked this one up the other day and yes it works how awesome is that alright so here's my Atari video computer system as you can see the original 6 switch model and this is an actual built 1977 model and yes there's a game in it right now which is Space Invaders which happens to be my all-time favorite video game for the Atari video computer system as they would later call it the 2600 which started in 1982 when but 1980 was when they started building the only four switch model Ataris See, the original six switch models were only made from 1977 to 1979, and then in 1980, of course. That's when they started building the four switch models, and that's really all they made until the end of production for these. So, anyways, again, got Space Invaders in there. There's the original box for the game, as you can see. And. For those of you who have followed me on my channel for a very long time, some of you may remember this TV. Here's the Panasonic Color TV from August of 1975, as you can see. There's the joystick for the Atari. Real quick, check out this clock right here. This is an old Telecron clock from 1947, believe it or not. That's right. This is an old original condition clock made by Telecron from 1947. How cool is that? Right here is a vintage wristwatch, Timex wristwatch from 1980. Apparently it doesn't work at the moment because the battery went dead. As you can see it says 7, that's the day which is two weeks back. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a new battery put into this thing, but, you know, how about we just go ahead and turn on this TV, oh my god, come on, camera, hold on, alright, just cooperate with me, camera, alright, anyways, yes, I've had this TV for a full year now, and yes, it still works. Space Invaders. And now, let's see if I can try to do this in one hand. Here, if not, then oh well. Alright, here we go. Oh god, yeah, I'm trying to do this in one hand. It's not easy. Yep, see, I told you it's not easy. Uh, god, yeah. I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. It's not easy at all. Well, crap. Oh, come on, that was bull crap. Alright, well, there you go, as you can see. That was just, just a little tiny let's play of me. Just doing one game of Space Invaders, so yeah. So yeah, again, for those of you who follow my channel for a very long time, some of you may remember this TV. And of course, remember the Atari that's hooked up to the TV, so yeah. Pretty cool. Alright you guys, well, it's about after 10.30 at night, so... It's about time for me to head to bed now, because... Again, it is... Saturday, April 21st, 2018, as I'm filming this, and... Of course, had to get up early in the morning to head out to the museum tomorrow, so... Yeah, but now I know this was not much and this was only my first time doing this, but I still hope you guys enjoyed my A Day with Magnum 05 here, so 
again, forgive me if this one wasn't perfect. It's only my first time. I'm done, I've never done anything like this before, so forgive me if it's if it's not all that great. Because once again, I say it's my first time doing this. I've never done this before, so. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this a day with Magnum 5. I'm Sacco Lombardi K Magnum 5 here. You all have a great rest of your day. Take care and bye bye.